everyone, it's Elena. This is today's nail art design. These are supplies that I used. I'll list them in the description box below. Okay, as usual, I started with my early bonder as my base coat. That helps to prevent chipping. And then for my background color, I used this white wedding. Um, it's by a company called Picture Polish and I bought it off LaRoe's website. Okay, um, now I'm going to paint two different designs on each one of these two nails. So the first nail that I'm going to do is the ribbon. And I'm going to paint the ribbon with the white acrylic paint. I put a little bit in this dish here and I'm going to use this nail art brush. Can I just begin to paint the ribbon? Obviously this design is in honor of breast cancer in honor of all the survivors and all that have passed on. But it is October, it is breast cancer month, so this needed to happen. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next nail. Okay, on the ring finger, I'm going to just draw a bunch of little ribbons. Um, I did do the opposite on the other hand. I did all little ribbons and then one large ribbon on the ring finger. And I'm just going to scatter them all over the nail. I apologize if it's difficult to see, but I'll try to keep showing you as I'm doing it. Okay, well you get the idea. I'm gonna finish this off camera. Okay, this is what it looks like finished. Now let's get to the glitter. All right, to adhere the glitter, I used the best glue ever. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on this piece of foil. And then I'm gonna take another nail art brush that I really only use for glitter. And I'm going to water the glitter down uh, water the glue down just a little bit because it takes very long to dry and it's actually harder to move the glue around when it's very thick. Okay, now I'm going to trace over the ribbons. Again, I'm sorry if you really can't see what I'm doing because of the way that I have to um, draw and the position of the camera. But I'm always working on it to make sure that um, you can see as best as I can. Okay, so all I'm doing is tracing over the ribbons. I'm going to do the same thing on the other hand, and then we will start to glitter. I'll finish this off camera. Okay, now we're going to use Mad Hatter Glam, and this is by Inaz Cosmetics, and they can be found on Facebook. And I actually use my PayPal to purchase them. This is the brush that I use to dust. And once the glue is dry, it still stays tacky. So um, now I'm gonna shake it all over the nail. You see, there it goes. See how it sticks to wherever the glue was? And if it doesn't stick to all the places that you want it to, 
could always go in with some more glue and do some touching up. The thing is, is you want to make sure that the glue is pretty dry and thin so that when you're dusting the glitter on the nail, it doesn't move the glue around and then it'll smear your design. Just pat it on, and then you're going to, after you're done patting it on and you get it everywhere that you want to, then you're going to dust it off. So let's get to that next. Okay, so I'm just going to use a kabuki brush to dust it off, and I'm going to dust it very, very lightly to make sure that I don't smear or ruin the design. Okay, so do I do have to do some touching up, which I'll do off camera. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this one pink gem, and I'm going to use a little bit of best glue ever, and then I'm going to pick it up with this. I don't even know what the tool is called, but it's used to pick up gems and stuff so I think I got it off Amazon and I'm just gonna place it right in the center of the ribbon okay this is what it looks like after the top coat thank you all very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this nail art design please subscribe to my channel have a nice day